Are you ready to take your 5M graphics to the next level without totally killing your PC's performance? I know I am, so let's check this out. What's going on guys, MaxPuff here. In today's video, we're gonna do a super quick walkthrough on how to set up some super clean, really easy on the performance graphics mods for 5M. Now, these are originally designed for single player, but that doesn't mean you can use them in multiplayer uh, as we're doing here right now. I have them installed. I am on the Perimeter RP server, and as you can see, they look pretty good. Uh, in the past, I've used stuff like NVE Quant 5, those big dogs when it comes to 5M graphics. And yes, they look good, but they also totally tank your frame rate, at least for me. Now, my computer is not the worst in the world, but it's definitely not the best. It's a few years old now, and it's starting to show its age, especially when I'm running big graphics mods. Previously, I had just switched from using Quant to this new setup, and I think it looks pretty good. So let's jump to our desktop and I'll show you how to do it. All right, we're on the desktop, ready to get going. Before we start though, I do want to mention all you need for this are the graphics mods and 5M. You do not need a separate installation of GTA to install these graphics mods too. If you're familiar with NVE or Quant, you've used them in the past, you know that you have to install files directly to the game. With this process, you do not need to do that. It is important to note though, if you have used them in the past, you need to completely uninstall those former graphics mods. Information is included with the specific mod you've used on how to remove them, uh, but if you've never used graphics before, no worries, it works on a clean slate. Let's check out how. To start things off today, open up your browser of choice, and uh, if you're watching this video, I've actually provided links to the two mods you're gonna need in the video description right up the top there. If not, head over to gta5mods.com and lcpdfire.com. First thing you're gonna wanna grab is Visual 5 over at 5 Mods, and over on lcpdfire.com, you're gonna wanna grab Radiance 5. Both of these mods have been updated fairly recently, and they are what we're gonna use today. So once you get those folders downloaded, this is what they look like for me. I just put them in the same folder for ease of use. Go ahead, select both of them, and you're gonna go to whatever uh, unzip program you use. I personally prefer 7-Zip. I know a lot of you guys like WinRAR out there. It works with both of them. Just whatever you wanna do, extract those. Uh, it's gonna be easier to have them in uh, a folder ready to go. Uh, it just makes things a little bit easier. So unzip those. Once they are unzipped, start with Visual 5. That's kind of gonna be the base. Radiance is what we're gonna add things on top of. Now, the interesting thing to note, and this is what something, uh, it's something that a lot of people don't realize uh, is possible. They see the OIV, which is an open four installer. Um, open four, for those that are unfamiliar, is a RPF uh, unpacker and game directory tool for Rockstar Games. You can use it to mod your single player stuff. And depending on what graphics mods for 5M you use, sometimes you need them them here as well. Um, so once you're here, you're going to want to extract it. Uh, this, like I said, does work on WinRAR as well. I just use 7-Zip. You can actually extract the contents of that, uh, of the OIV. And this is the most important step. This allows us to put these files into our 5M game. So first thing you're going to want to do once you open that up, go to update RPF common data. And in this folder, everything here goes into our application data folder for 5M. If you're unfamiliar with how to get your application data folder, uh, if you have a desktop icon for 5M, you can see it right there amidst all of my other crap. <laughs> open up open file location when you right click it, and it'll take it to this folder or at least something that looks similar. Open up the application data folder, and this is essentially a lot of files that help run 5M. So if you notice, there's gonna be some similarities here. If we pull these side by side, you're gonna see citizen common data. See where those two things are similar? Right there, all you wanna do is copy everything over and put them here. Uh, of course, you can overwrite it because uh, 
uh, if there's anything there, go ahead, overwrite it. Um, it's the same files for me. So if you're starting out from scratch and you've never touched your application data folder, you're not gonna have a lot of these files in here. I just have them because like I said, this is the uh, the graphics settings that I am using. So uh, once you're there, you are all set for Visual 5. So go over to Radiance 5 and same thing, extract the OIV of your choice. That'll pull you the files. I personally, like the bright option so we're going to same thing extract files works with winrar and 7-zip like i said go in here the only thing you're going to see is this visual settings.dat copy that over and this is why i said it's really important start with visual 5 because you are adding a file you're overwriting a file that comes with visual 5. if you start with radiance and then put visual 5 on top of it you are going to be completely erasing all of the effects of radiance just like that you are good to go that is all it takes super easy setup and you are good to hop in game and enjoy those graphics so you can see frame rate is really nice barely any struggle especially compared to those big graphics mods there's a couple important things to check really fast uh, so once you hop in game for the first time i recommend doing so it's recommended by both visual 5 and radiance 5 as well hop into your graphics settings check on down to shader quality make sure that that is high or above uh high very high or ultra i usually set it on very high um so shader quality as well as post effects those two things absolutely need to be on high or above i recommend very high especially if you have a similar spec pc to mine or it's not the best it's not going to kill things but it's going to be good uh, another super quick tip in here, uh, if you're trying to squeeze some extra frames out of your game uh, and you don't have everything cranked up or you can't uh, graphically afford to have everything cranked up, roll up to the grass quality. It's still going to look good if you have it. As you can see, I have it on normal and it will significantly improve your frame rate. That setting right there will save you a ton of frames. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. It's just a quick walkthrough on what I think is one of the more underrated graphics setups for 5M, especially in today's times. If you found this video helpful at all, please hit that thumbs up, spread this video around with anybody else who has the same sort of graphics questions. If you wanna see more of my content, more tutorials on the way, please consider subscribing. With that being said, my name is Maximov and I will see you all later. See ya.